Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm here to share a challenge with you guys from the Victoria Marie Facebook group. This month, uh, July 2016, Sarah Branch, which I will link below, Sarah Branch and I have been uh, teamed up and we are creating a fun challenge for our Victoria Marie uh, Facebook group members um, and of course any of you guys that want to participate. Um, I will link to the Victoria Marie Facebook group below as well. If you guys want to follow along and join us, we have a lot of fun over there. Victoria is great. Um, so it's definitely a fun place to be and we have challenges every month. So um, for this month's challenge, uh, Sarah and I have decided um, to do something a little bit more different than just a specific challenge. We've decided to challenge you guys to create a little kit from your stash and make as many layouts as you can from that kit. Um, we don't have um, an, an exact number that you need to make, but just as many as you can get from that kit. Um, so we decided to um, use an inspiration piece and I found um, a, an inspiration board or a mood board, I should say, <laughs> um, sorry, on uh, Pinterest. And here is what it looks like. It's by Lauren Schroer. I hope I didn't butcher her name. Sorry if I did, Lauren, if you ever watched this. So that's what it is. It's this lovely, lovely inspiration piece. It's very summery, very fun. The colors are great. Um, I love the navy. I love the pink. Uh, it's sort of like a, like a coral and then the teals. I just love it. It's really, really pretty. And there's her name, Lauren. It's her, um, I guess it's her um, mood board. So we've decided to use this mood board. Now, you guys don't have to follow this mood board. This is just an idea to help you guys kind of have a starting off point, and um, we use it as inspiration and as a starting off point. So you don't have to uh, use this mood board. It's just an option, but it's definitely great to start somewhere uh, rather than just kind of go crazy in your stash and trying to find things. So for the kit that you have to create from your stash, must have five patterned papers pattern papers and I will share with you guys what my five pattern papers are so first up I have this is from the simple stories summer vibes collection it's called just beachy it has this wood plank on this side but I really chose it I could use either or I'm using double-sided papers you don't have to if you do it's I think it's a little bit of a, of a bonus because you can use either side or you can cut up a piece of this one and then use the back for something else. So it's great. But I used it for this side. This is a, a nice coral diagonal stripe. And I love this paper. So I use it for that side. Then from Photo Play, um, this is Summer Daydreams Collection. This one is called Sunspots. So I have this nice teal stripe, which is pretty neutral. Um, teal stripe. And then on the back I have this... Um, sunspots I guess <laughs> hence the name so um, I could use either or so and I am bringing some yellow into this I'm not just keeping it in the blues and the pinks I am bringing some other colors in so also from the simple story summer vibes collection I chose this paper this one is called oh hello and I love this I love this mix of colors right here and the back is also a lot of fun just has hello hello repeatedly in different colors so I really like that but I love this so I chose it for this then I have this piece of paper this is from the crepe paper poolside collection um, and this one is called pool time and I love this again it brings in the yellow brings in the teals it brings in the pink so it's perfect and it has this uh, on the back which is also a great neutral base it has a pretty little branding strip which I could use as well so um, that's you know a really nice neutral or options that I have so that's awesome um, and then the last one I chose is this one this is from Pink Paisley from the Solstice collection and it's called Barbados and I chose it for this um, navy because the inspiration or the mood board I should say <laughs> has some navy in it so um, I chose it for this and this one has little tiny hearts in um, like they're like coral hearts and blue hearts so I thought that was perfect to have little anchors I am going to be scrapbooking um, some summer pictures from last summer I'm not sure if they're all gonna be from last summer but I know I'm gonna be scrapbooking some from our crew so this is perfect and I also love this blue um, diagonal stripe 
If you guys watch my channel, you guys know that I love uh, diagonal stripes. So, <laughs> this is great. But, um, I did choose it for this. So, those are my five sheets of paper. Now, the next thing um, in our challenge is to have four embellishment packs. So, you can choose any type of embellishments that you guys want to use. So, for me, I chose this sticker sheet, which is from the Echo Park it's a summer party collection and it's a 12 by 12 sticker sheet and I thought the colors worked out really nicely with some of this um, some colors obviously go better than others but um, I figure I can make this work so um, summer party echo park so it's a 12 by 12 sticker sheet that's number one number two I'm going to use these Heidi swap banners um, I might not use all of them there's not this is an eight pack but I have used some of them so they're not all in here, but I, I think I can use a couple of these um, and get them used up because I've had these for a while. So uh, Heidi Swap banners. Then I pulled out the uh, Pink Paisley Atlas Collection ephemera pack. I have used pieces in here, so they're not all going to be in there, but um, I really need to use it up because there's a lot of stuff in there and I need to use it. So. <laughs> I'm bringing that in and this is great because it has some yellows, it has some pinks, it has some uh, blues, it has um, some navies, so I think that will work nicely with this. So we'll see. That's just uh, an option I have there. And then I chose these flare badges. Um, uh, these are Studio Calico. I got these at um, Tuesday morning. These are older. These are from 2012. So I've only used one and I would really like to use them. Um, Maybe not this one, like this one says it's going to be okay. Maybe I might not use that one, but the other ones I can use and the colors will work really nicely. So, um, just, I kind of tried to, when I chose my embellishments, um, my four embellishments, I tried to think of texture and, um, you know, what I like to add to my layout. So, I know I want some flat elements, like these stickers and maybe the banners, or you could always take these stickers and pop them up if you wanted to, like if they were ephemera pieces, so you could do that. The ephemera pieces as well. I could use them flat. I could pop them up. This uh, flare badge, the flare badges will give dimension. So just different textures and different things um, I think will be fun. So those are my four um, embellishment packs. Again, you guys can choose whatever you guys think you need to use or, you know, whatever you guys want to include. Um, then there's uh, three wood veneer pieces. So my wood veneer pieces are this piece this is I want to say this is Kelly Perky I'm a hundred I'm no I'm not a hundred I'm like 90% sure this is Kelly Perky it just says just says hello um, and it has this cool sort of pattern on it so I want to use that this smile which I I'm pretty sure I got this from Sarah <laughs> Sarah did you send me this I, I think she did she we swapped pocket letters um, I think last year yeah, I think it was last year. Um, was it? I don't know. <laughs> I think we did. Um, and we did. I don't, I don't think I know we did, but I'm pretty sure Sarah sent me this. So this is awesome. It says smile, and I really um, want to use this because I haven't used it yet. And then this Hello Sunshine, which I got not too long ago, um, I want to use this as well. So that's going to be fun. So those are my three wood veneer pieces. Then it goes down to two. Get it? It's like a countdown. You guys haven't caught on. <laughs> Five, four, three. Um, two is two different types of alphas. So I chose these, which are Mickey Ricky from American Crafts, and they're yellow glitter. And I thought that was a nice little contrast to this collection. So I really, I love these stickers. This is uh, one of my favorite fonts. So. And this is just because I have them in a 12 by 12, like the cheapo page protectors. I use my fuse tool, but you can see that it's just kind of falling apart because I didn't know how to use my fuse tool when I did this. So this is just like double. Um, I have two packs. So this one has been used up a lot, and then I have this one, which hasn't been used up all that much. So that's just what that is. Then I chose these. These are from American Crafts. These are called Joy, J-U-Y. And they're just a nice white foam. Um... Thicker. I figured these are neutral if I wanted to paint them, you know, like with mist or something, I can do that. So, but I thought that was a nice neutral. We also did decide, besides the two main alphas that are going to be in our kit, um, Sarah and I also thought we should have um, a nice um, 
small alpha, just to kind of complement, um, like with our titles and stuff, because it's always nice to have an option if you want to add like an extra word or something. So we did um, say it would be okay to have like an extra tiny alpha. So this is new. This is, well, it's not new. I've had it for a while, but I haven't used it. Um, it's from Webster's Pages from Allison Craft, and um, they're just little letters, little letter stickers. Sorry, I can't tell. Okay, so Allison Craft. So that's a nice um, teal color that will go with this collection really nicely. So I got those out, and I'm going to use those. Then there's one. So we have five papers. We have four embellishment packs. We have three wood veneers. We have two alphas, and then we have one item of your choice so it can be whatever you guys want it to be for me i uh, have decided that i am actually going to use some um show you give me just one second okay so i have decided to use these um, as my extra item. Uh, these are from uh, Thicker's uh, Sunkist is what they're called and these were from the Poolside collection. So this collection. So they actually match with that very well. <laughs> so uh, I thought I would include those. Now what I'm going to do is this is kind of going to be like an optional item. It is an optional item. <laughs> we said it could be optional. So it is optional. So if I see that maybe there's something else in my stash that I really want to use up, that I haven't used up, I might swap it out. But I'll let you guys know if I do that. But for now, these I think would be great. They're summery and they match really nicely. So this is my kit, you guys. This is what I'm going to be using. Um, let's see how many layouts I can get done with this. I'm excited to see Sarah's kit. I'm excited to see how many layouts she gets done with her kit. Um, so this is going to be great. Um, I do want to let you guys know I am going to be gone on vacation um, the first couple weeks in July. So um, I will be uh, participating and I will have um, some videos scheduled on my channel, but I won't be as active as I normally am. So just so you guys know. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun. Cannot wait to see what everyone creates with um, their kits. So just uh, join us over on the Victoria Marie Facebook group. Again, I will have a link to the Facebook group below. Um, and then just join us on the challenge. Just create your kit, take a picture of it, show us your picture of your kit, and then work from there on. And you have the whole month to kind of create your um, layout. So it should be really, really fun. So I cannot wait to see what everyone does. So thank you so much for stopping by. Can't wait to see what you guys uh, create. I'll see you guys very soon with another video. Bye!